I love that you're a creator that has the statues that keeps the memorabilia. Oh. You're invested. They're your children. And your Instagram is fascinating yeah. because yeah. you're one of us while also being the father of the very right. things that you're collecting. Is that something that you've done since the image days? Have you had, have you collected all these like maquettes and memorabilia from the beginning? So, you know, it's been years since I've covered this and it, I'm happy to refresh it because this is great. Image only happens because Marvel made every character I created into a toy before X-Force was published. The backstory, I remember the time of night, it was like 6 p.m. summer evening, the phone rang, my editor named Bob Harris said, Rob, just wanna let you know, the toy guys were just here and uh, they're making all of the X-Force guys into toys. I said, but the comic doesn't come out for three months. It doesn't matter, they came in, they flew in to look over like what, what they would want to make toys. I said, time out. Bob, I just saw the first line of X-Men toys, Cyclops, Wolverine. They, they were, there was it's the first X-Men action figure line ever in 1991, 92, 91. And he said, yep, and you're the second wave. And I go, you're skipping all of that history? And they like, Rob, they love Bob had never heard this either. He goes, they say your stuff is really toyetic. You're toyetic. That's an actual word. And again, getting back to the GI Joe of it all, that's because my characters carried weapons, swords, double-edged swords. Okay. Here is a, okay. So right here. So this is the, uh, he's missing his swords, but this is the Shatterstar from 1992 that they put in production in 1991 before X-Force number one. Now this is the, upgrade of Shatterstar that was released with the double swords um, that was released uh, two years ago. And so uh, obviously it's just a, a newer, finer, more refined version. And, but again, dude, you know, I'm sitting there drawing this going, well, how do I make Shatterstar special? What, what says, well, what says badass more than two blades on the same hill, right? I mean, <laughs> um, and, and so, and then the half cape and, oh, I forgot because his, um, his, his shoulder pad fell off. And then he has his shoulder pad right here. And, and look, so, so when they announced that to me, I'm going to tell you, I'm like, wait, Cable and Shatterstar and Deadpool and Kane and Domino and Strife are all headed to the toy aisle. And I'm going to, I, I, so back then kids, we used phones that you held your big with a cord and I put it back and I said, I swear to you, Koi, I remember looking out the window, I was on the second story of my studio, and I go, I'm a toy designer. <laughs> I'm a toy designer. And I remember going, well, I should probably own the next toys. I should probably, now that I'm not just doing great selling comics, but I have plastic, uh, I need to, you know, be a toy designer. And, uh, because I had so many other characters, there was actually two that I was putting into Marvel's. I was putting two characters. Prophet was one of them that I had for another storyline. And I, I reeled them back in and said, you know, Marvel, I've, I've already given you like 30 characters. It's a great deal. That's why I did it. I knew very much what I was doing. Um, because of the actions of the editorial team in the eighties, you were able to participate in action figures, royalties, all of these extras that help contribute and make a better life for, for cartoonists and artists. So we then start image because I'm going to own the next stuff I do. And of course the young, there was a young blood line of toys. There was the six inch figures. There was miniatures. There was rubber bendables. And I mean, Coy, a, a year and a half later, I'm going into Mattel in uh, in Southern California, getting the card swiped as these giant get smart doors open and you go another 10 feet and you swipe the card and another steel doors. And I'm like, I'm in, I'm in get smart. I'm <laughs> where's agent 99. Like I'm literally, I couldn't believe the security of these toy companies, but then they led me in. They had made molds. They had made action figures of young blood trying to woo me to get to sign the deal. And my attorney's like, no, you tried to screw George Lucas. You're not screwing wrong. <laughs> And I was like, oh, this is funny. This, my, my attorney at the time was representing George Lucas. And uh, so he was very protective. I then took multiple bids. Todd McFarlane said, I'll outbid everybody. I don't want the image toys leaving. I want to keep you in the fold. I want you to be companion to Spawn and Wetworks. And that's what he was able to, to collect. 
uh, out of all the image guys. And, uh, and he, he beat everybody's offer at the time, but the, the image comics really was because of the dearth of plastic. And, and if you know, Koi, like there then would be a new cable action figure every six months, four months. And that's what I, you know, and, and I love sharing with Brolin, like how popular cable was. We we've, we've all gotten swept up in how, ridiculously popular Deadpool was, but I also read my comments on Facebook and Twitter and they're like, man, you give cable, you give Deadpool so much love, but cable's my guy. And, and the thing is the anniversary to X-Force was just a couple weeks ago. I also coy believe that X-Force was just the first of what would be many multi-million selling copies. And I would be eventually knocked down to the number 10 best selling book. I mean, we're, we're 30 years later next summer, 30 years in 2021. X-Force is the number two best-selling comic book of all time, 5 million copies. Marvel went 3 million with Spider-Man, 5 million with X-Force, 8 million with Jim, and then they never sold a million again. And you go, okay, that had, I'll tell you why. It's right here. We, we had the juice. We were the guys who were turning the fans. We had great instincts. There is a time when you're simpatico with what the audience wants. And, uh, you know, whether that's the first two seasons of Lost or, you know, the early runs of Walking Dead or, you know, the first five seasons of Game of Thrones, you just know when you're, you're the juice is there, man, and it's the give and take, the back and forth, and you're exciting them. So, yes, I, I, I'm very proud, extremely proud. Every time they continue to make a new, you know, Deadpool or Cable, and, and Koi, there's, there's like four or five more coming this year in a pandemic. So I'm thrilled. 